My brothers and sisters, I'm wearing battle armor because these are serious times. We can't afford to let things slip. We have to do what we need to do so that we can fight this virus the only way we know how. We have to fight it on our knees. We have to fight it with our masks. We have to fight it with social distancing. We have to fight it with hand washing. We have to fight it with stay at home. We have to fight it with every conceivable thing. I'm wearing this one. It's not mine. It's my husband's. It does not fit me properly. And this is a part of the challenge. This is a part of the trouble. We are not complying in the way that we should. We are not taking this seriously. And so I implore you, anyone that you can influence, anyone that you can help to see why it's supposed to fit snugly, why we're supposed to be six feet apart, why we're supposed to be at home and we don't need to be gallivanting in the road. Please do whatever you can to convince everybody you know. When you have on yours, refuse to have a conversation with someone who is not wearing one. Just say to them, I'm sorry, but when you have your mask on, I am safe. And just refuse to engage in contact with persons who are not taking care of you and other people and themselves. We have got to get away from this. We have too many active cases, and I'm sure with contact tracing, we're going to find more. And so I just say to you, enough is enough. We cannot keep on like this. We have to do whatever we can so that if something should happen, then it means that we have done our best. We've got weather coming, we've got economic challenges, and we do not need to have this degree of medical challenge if much of it depends on how we react and respond. And so I invite you, my brothers and sisters, to obey the word of God, obey the word of the medical team. Just be obedient, just cooperate. Do what we need to do, comply. We cannot have this spirit of rebelliousness and expect that we will not suffer. These are consequences that come as a result of our own behavior to a great degree. We have got to be more careful. Please do what you know you need to do. Please wipe down your groceries. Please wash your shopping bags. Please keep yourself safe. And if you have comorbidities, please stay home. Let other people do for you what you can't do for yourself. Even if you have to pay them, take care of yourselves. We cannot afford to lose one more person in our country. We've got to keep the number at 11. 11 is too many to start with, but we certainly don't need to add. So may God bless you as you pray, as you work, as you witness, as you encourage, as you inspire, as you use whatever power you have to help us to make it through. And then to continue to be a godly and obedient people. Do we have to suffer before we learn? Take good care and do your best and stay safe. God bless you.